What's going on, guys? Got a John Deere lawn tractor, lawn mower, I guess you could say, that I'm working on. It's a LT55. Not too bad of a machine. I'm doing some work on it for a guy. Did a carburetor clean and rebuild on it. And uh, things actually, machine's actually pretty solid, but the guy's looking to upgrade and wants to get it sold. Um, so, like I said, it's a solid machine. Uh, the hood's got a couple little issues, like all the generation of these John Deere's did. They they really they crack and brittle and yada yada yada. But uh, the other big issue that we had, there was an issue with the seat. So this is the underside of the seat here, and there's these slots, and basically there's these two metal brackets like that, and they're there's a pins that go through the bracket back on the tractor there hold it in place and both these brackets have snapped off um so kind of kind of putting us in a pickle here so a new seat this new seat from john deere is 185 dollars and an aftermarket seat is 115 uh definitely not in the budget so Looking for some way to get out of this inexpensively. Um, so, came up with an idea. Instead of replacing the seat, all I'm going to do is create a new bracket. So, I pulled the seat apart, which is pretty easy to do. There's a number of screws like this on a piece of trim on the back side. You pull those off, pull the trim off, and then you can separate the foam from the uh seat yeah as you can see i mean this this thing's pretty uh pretty beat but whatever you know and so roll this thing over so all i'm gonna do went to track supply for friggin five dollars and 49 cents bought this piece of uh galvanized steel and basically i'm going to bend up and fab up a little bracket that i'll be replacing there um as you can see i already tried Betting it actually came out pretty good. So basically going to be making the bracket and then bolting it in place with some uh, quarter 20 uh, screws and some lock nuts. And uh, we'll see how, how that goes. So stay tuned. All right, so I got this bracket fabbed up. Actually came out pretty good. Fits in there. Pretty well, uh, and trust me, this ain't no metal shop. I uh, all I did was take this and bend it up in my uh, friggin' little Chinese uh, press there. So, uh, like I said, came out pretty good. Um, next step, I'm gonna be drilling and mounting it to the seat here. Stay tuned. All right, so I got the uh, bracket all mounted up. The two uh, quarter 20 screws with lock nuts so they won't come undone. Come through, holes drilled. I did bevel those off a little bit with the uh, grinder. And I just test fit it up and it seems to work uh, pretty good. So I'll get that cover back on and we'll have a finished product. Well, I got everything mounted back up. Seat cover back on. Works uh, pretty damn smooth if you ask me. So, save yourself uh, a couple bucks by doing this repair. Thank you, enjoy.